Hey guys, welcome to art. This is actually our last art class of the year and that makes me so sad that I don't get to see your faces, but that is how it goes and I miss you guys. I hope you're doing really good. Um, today we are going to make some Van Gogh sunflowers. Now this video is coming at you on a I believe it's Friday, it might be Saturday, I'm not sure. I think it's Friday. Um, <laughs> and Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. So this could be a super fun thing to do for Mother's Day if you wanna make something cool for your mom. Um, or you could just make a pretty sunflower. So we are going to be using some materials that you should have at home. Um, we're gonna be using a paper towel roll. Notice it's a paper towel, they're longer. Notice my hands are all painty. That should give you a hint today. Um, we're going to use a paper plate, just as long as it's white on the back. We are going to be using some paper, some plain old white paper. And we are going to use some glue, a pair of scissors. I would suggest not using a big pair like this because I don't want you to cut yourself. Um, you could use tape as well. And then we are gonna need a messy mat today because we are gonna get a little bit messy, as you can see. Um, we need some paint and then a regular old plastic grocery store bag, okay? So that should be everything. If I'm forgetting something, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, so your little sunflower is gonna look kinda like this. I don't know if you can see the whole thing in there. I'll put it sideways. Um, now your sunflower, I cut this right here so it can actually stand up. As you can see, it, st it can stand up by itself, which is really cool. Um, so your little sunflower, we are painting with the little grocery store bag. So as you can see, this is my paper plate. This is where we used our paper. This is our toilet paper or um, paper towel tube. So that just gives you an idea of where we're going with this. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your um, paper towel tube and your scissors, and you're gonna cut um, maybe close to an inch and a half or two inches um, slits down your paper towel tube. So you're gonna cut, and I'm putting them a little bit far apart, almost like the width of my thumb. You see how wide my thumb is? I put it right up next to the slit right here to see how wide I should make it. So I'm gonna do another cut right here. And I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around the bottom of my paper towel tube. And they can be a little wider than your thumb if you need them to be, that is just fine. Just don't make them too thin, okay? So then I'm going to bend my pieces out like this. As you can see, I am taking my little, um, my little slits and I'm bending them out so it should give you this kind of a shape. So that way you can sit it up and your flower will stand up by itself. So this is gonna be a 3D sculpture of your flower. So this flower is actually inspired by an, a famous artist named Vincent Van Gogh. And Vincent Van Gogh did a really famous picture of a sunflower. Um, so it's a painting, you should look it up, it's very pretty. And this is going to give us kind of a Van Gogh look a little bit. It's a little tad messy, but that's okay. So then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper plate. Now your paper plate, go ahead and flip it over. And you can see I started cutting. You're gonna cut through to this flat part right here, okay? That's where we want, we want that flat part. So I cut through and I'm gonna start cutting around just to make the circle of the flat bottom of the plate, okay? So I'm gonna cut all the way around. Just be careful that you don't cut yourself. Remember, we only cut the paper or whatever our project is. We never cut our hands or our hair or our clothing or anything else, okay? So be very careful. And then I've got my circle cut out. So I can throw this piece in the trash. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper. And our paper, I think the best way for you to do this is we're going to fold our paper 
hot dog and we're gonna fold it directly in half the long way and we're gonna make a nice crease right here. That means we're gonna flatten where we folded it. So you can open it back up and keep, fold it back together so you can see what we're doing. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut strips. Now we're gonna cut them about an inch wide and I'm gonna cut some strips just like that, okay? And when you've got your strips that come out, you can cut the corner where we bent it, and that gives you pieces about like this. So you can keep doing that. So, which I should have told you beforehand, we're gonna paint this first, I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna paint this first and then cut those strips. That's gonna be easier, so you're gonna get little pieces like this. So I took my little strip and I made the ends meet together. And I actually taped mine because I was impatient. <laughs> um, but it's actually easier if you tape it. So then you just tape around the ends right here. But don't do that yet because we're gonna paint it, okay? So this is where our messy mat comes in, okay? Now I'm gonna show you, I got some paints out today. If you want, you could just do this with marker. If you don't wanna get super messy, that's fine. But these are the types of colors I brought out for my painting. So I have a light brown and a dark brown, a darker yellow and a brighter yellow, an orange, a darker green, and a brighter green, okay? So that gives it a word that's called dimension and then also variety. So it makes all those colors a little bit different and you can see my lighter yellow and my darker yellow come out on some spots and my darker brown and my lighter brown to make that sunflower look. So what you're gonna do now is you can go ahead and get your messy mat out. This is my messy mat today. And I'm gonna take my crumply bag right here and I'm gonna crumple it in my hand so I can hold it. And I'm going to start with my toilet paper tube. So I've decided to make my toilet paper or my paper towel tube light green, dark green, and a little bit of that dark yellow to give it a fun kind of mixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, to my um, bag and I'm just going to dab it in the paint just a little bit. So as you can see, that's all I've got on my bag, okay? So then I'm going to just dab it on there. Now, if you notice, my hands today are pretty messy. That's from doing this. So just be prepared that you might get a little bit messy and that's okay. It should come right off if it's regular old craft paint, okay? And if you're doing this with marker, that's perfectly fine. So you're gonna get all the way around. And notice I'm not covering it in one color because I'm gonna come back with my other colors and get some spots. So now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use a different part of my bag and I'm gonna get my little dark green color, darker, it doesn't have to be super dark. And I'm gonna kind of squash it on there all the way around, making sure that I stay over my messy mat, okay? So you can keep going until you you like how much is on there. Don't forget to get your little feet part down there. And then I think I'm gonna add that darker yellow in there just to give it a little bit of a bright spot on the tube. You don't have to do that, but I just like the way it looks. Make sure I get all of those. So you can keep going. Um, it doesn't have to be 100% covered. You can maybe make it mostly covered if you want, um, but it's up to you because you're the artist. So I'm going to put it to the side over here and I'm going to get out my plate, my circle right here. So this one, I'm going to get a different part of my bag that's clear and I'm going to use my lighter brown and I'm gonna just stamp it on there like this. It's really kind of fun to do this. until I think, okay, I like how much that's covering it. Now I'm gonna dip it in my darker brown. And I'm gonna just do a little bit of dabbing around like this. And use my messy mat really well today. And I think I want a little bit of that dark yellow again. So I'm gonna add in some of that dark yellow. 
and I actually got a little bit of orange on there. Whoops, <laughs> but that's okay if you do that, it's not a big deal. So you can decide if you want more or less, that's perfectly fine, it's up to you. I'm gonna set that to the side. Then I'm going to get out my paper. Now my paper, this one, I'm actually gonna sit this guy up so I have more room. My paper, I'm going to do mostly the, um, the brighter yellow and the darker yellow. You could add a little bit of orange if you want to, it's up to you. But I'm just gonna go around and cover my paper, okay? So you can continue to cover this and keep going. And so once you've covered it, and it does have to dry, because remember it is paint, so once you've covered it, then you can start cutting out those strips like we talked about, okay? So as you can see, I need more color on there. So I'm gonna add more. I actually got a little bit of brown, whoops. So I'm gonna move it so I'll get more brown on there. And if you get a little bit messed up on there, that's okay, it's not a big deal. It's just some super fun, little bit of messy art today, okay? So keep going until you like how much it covers. I would say maybe even cover more than this. Um, and that's up to you completely. So you do it how you wanna do it. But you can definitely make this into a very pretty art project for Mother's Day. So the next part you're gonna do is you're gonna let this dry. You're gonna cut your strips. Remember our strips, when we cut them, started to look like this. And then once the, we're gonna pretend that this is covered with the paint, cause I didn't make an example. <laughs> you're gonna put the ends together and you're gonna get, I would say a piece of tape or you could glue it. And you're gonna tape the ends together just like this. So as you can see, it kind of made like a teardrop shape and give that little bit of a loop going on. So if it's painted, it should look like this. So then once your middle of your sunflower is all dry, you could tape it on the back. Notice I put it on the back and tape it on the back or you could glue it. Um, which is what we have our fancy glue right here for. And you could glue it on the back like this. So once this is all dried and glued, you have all your pretty sunflower loops taped on there or glued on there. Once it's dry, then we're gonna add our paper towel tube. Remember our pretty paper towel tube. So you're just gonna stick it on the back right here. And you can hot glue that, you can do regular glue. As long as you have a grown up to help you, you can do hot glue. I wouldn't do it by yourself, okay? So, but once it's dry, if you really are like Mrs. Douglas, um, my mom really likes pink, you could do your petals pink. You could do these little uh, flower petals pink and purple if you want to, that'd be really cute. Or maybe she really likes blue, it's up to you. So you guys can kind of play with it. Um, remember I put all my paint on a paper plate to kind of keep it together. I used a bag like this to do my paint stamping. I used tape to tape it together or you could use glue or you could use hot glue. And hopefully it'll stand up for you because you have these feet that are cut and ready to go. And so this is my little Van Gogh sunflower. So I hope you really enjoy this. Um, remember, it's okay to get messy, just don't make a mess. <laughs> make sure you clean up after yourself, okay? I miss you guys, I hope you have fun doing this, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, you guys.